guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss another set of topic in mathematics, which is all about finding the distance between the given points. So we're going to use the distance formula in this video. And the very question here, or the main question here is that how we can get the distance between the given two points. So I have here examples to be solved using the distance formula. So find the distance between the given points. For number 1, we have the points 0, negative 6, and 5, 4. And for number 2, we have 2, negative 10, negative 6, negative 4. So our purpose here is to get the distance between these two points. So we already know that the formula for distance is, or the distance formula takes the form of d is equals to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay, that's it. Or we can rewrite this one. We can have x sub 1 and y sub 1 that will came first. So we have d. You can also have d is equals to uh, x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So either of the two. Uh, formula for distance you can use as long as you are you wrote it appropriately or correctly okay so again our main task here is to get the distance or to find the distance between these two points so let us start let us use this uh, the first formula which is uh, takes the forms of d is equals to or distance is equals to the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 all, uh, squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square so let us use this formula okay so in the, before you are going to substitute the given points or ordinates in a given points try to figure out or identify first which of these given points is your x sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 1 and y sub 2 so in this uh, given we can consider that the first coordinate or the first set of point is the set of x sub 1 and y sub 1 and for the second is we have the x sub 2, y sub 2. So you can immediately identify that 0 is your x sub 1, negative 6 is your neg uh, y, 5 is your x sub 2, I mean negative 6 is your y sub 1, 5 is x sub 2, and 4 is y sub 2. Now, using the formula for distance, I directly substitute the values. Okay, so let me rewrite again the distance formula, which is equals to d is equals to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1. We are using square. We are using the first formula. Or you can use also this one, okay? As long as you did not interchange x sub 1 and y sub 1 here, okay? So, since our x sub 2 is 5, then su substitute directly to the given formula. So, d is equals to x sub 2 is, or x sub 2 is 5 okay so let us write 5 minus x sub 1 so is equals to 0 so 0 then squared plus our y sub 2 in the given points is 4 then we have minus our y sub 1 is negative 6 so be careful with the sign okay then square so again our y sub 2 is 4 that is why 4 Okay, then our y sub 1 is negative 6. So that is why negative 6 here. So let us continue. The, let us simplify the given terms inside the parentheses. So we have 5 minus 0, that is 5, then square. Okay, and 5 minus 0, that is 5. Plus 4 minus negative 6. So change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. That is the rule for subtracting numbers or integers so we have change the sign of the subtrahend since our subtrahend here is negative 6 so you will change this one it will become positive then proceed to addition so it will become 4 plus 6 then square okay again change the sign of the subtrahend then proceed to addition that is why negative 6 becomes 6 and our subtraction sign becomes addition since the rule states that uh, change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition okay then let us continue 
uh, square root of 5 squared. That is, or let us rewrite first, 5 squared plus, let us simplify the other side. So we have 4 plus 6, that is 10, then square. Okay, next we have 5 squared, or that is 5 times 5 is equals to 25 plus 10 squared, or that is 10 times 10, that is 100. Okay, D is equals to 25, let us simplify further, 25 plus 100, that is square root of 25 plus 100, that is 125. Okay, so this is uh, the resulting number is 125, and 125, as we can check, or as we already know, 125 is not a perfect square number. So what we are going to do to extract or to reduce this one to lowest term, uh, we can factor out 125 or get the multiples of 125. So the multiple of 125 is 5 times 25. D is equal to the square root of 5 times 25. Our purpose here is to reduce the square root of 125 into lowest term. So since we can break down 120 or we can break uh, 125 by 5 times 25, then we can get the I mean we can get the answer of a square root of five that is as I mean square root of twenty five that is five. Then since there is n you can no longer get the square root of five, then just copy square root of five. Again, where did we get five times twenty five? That is the factors or that is the multiples of one hundred twenty five. So we just get the numbers that can be possibly multiplied to result which will result to 125 so that is why square root of 25 that is 5 then square root of 5 since this is not a perfect number square number then just rewrite that one so our resulting distance is equals to 5 square root of 5 so this is already the distance 5 square root of 5 is the distance between the given points 0 negative 6 5 and 4 so these are the process which we did <clears throat> excuse me okay so let us move to the example number two so this is the same with uh, we are going to with number one we are going to find the distance between the given points so again we are going to use the distance formula which is equals to d is equals to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or let us use the second formula let us have x sub 1 minus x sub 2 plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2. Then do not forget square. Okay, again we are using the second formula here. So we have here d is equals to. So our x sub 1 here is 2. Our y sub 1 is negative 10. Our x sub 2 is negative 6. And our y sub 2 is equals to negative 4. So substitute our x sub 1 is 2. So our x sub 1 is 2 minus our x sub 2 is negative 6. So negative 6. Okay, then square. Plus our y sub 1 is negative 10. Negative 10 minus our y sub 2 is negative 4. So negative 4. Okay, then square. Then we let us proceed. Simplify the terms inside the parentheses. We have 2 minus negative 6, that is 8, then square. Again, 2 minus negative 6, that is 8, because change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So, negative 6 will become positive 6, and then subtraction sign will be replaced with addition sign. So, <clears throat> excuse me, 2 plus, so 2 plus 6, that is 8, then plus negative 10 minus negative 4 that is negative 10 plus 4 because change the sign of the subtrahend negative 4 will become positive 4 and then proceed to addition so negative 10 plus 4 that is negative 6 then square okay then let us continue uh, square root of 8 square 
or squaring 8 is equals to 64. Or that is 8 times 8, that is 64, plus negative 6 times negative 6, that is positive 36. So negative 6 squared, or that is equivalent to negative 6 times negative 6, that is positive 36. Then D is equals to 64 plus 36, that is equals to 100. Now, since what we have observed, 100 is a perfect square number. So that is 10 times 10, that is 100. So we can get square root of 100, that is 10. Okay, so this is now the distance of our uh, point given points which is 2 or which are 2 negative 10 and negative 6 negative 4 so the distance between these two points is 10 okay so that is the process so do not be confused with the sign make sure that you are familiar you are familiar with the correct way and the proper way of adding and subtracting numbers or integers using the positive and negative sign okay so let us have another example Okay, so we have here example number 3. We are going to have the more complicated examples which consists of a uh, fraction number and for number 3 and for number 4 all given points contains fraction number in its coordinates or ordinates. Okay, so we have here one half 3 4 negative 2 and 1 so let us solve directly we already know that this is uh, x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 okay so the distance formula defined or states that d is equals to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square okay so just directly substitute the given points or the val uh, the coordinates in each point so our x sub 2 is equals to x sub 2 is negative 2 minus x sub 1 that is negative 1 half so we will have negative 1 half okay let us use bracket to avoid confusion okay squared plus y sub 2 is 1 minus uh, sorry y sub 1 that is 3 port Okay, 3 port, then square. So D is equals to, again what we did here is just simply substitute the given values in the formula of the distance. So we have here, uh, simplify, we have to simplify the terms or the numbers inside the parentheses and bracket. So we have here negative 2 minus negative 1 half. So let us have... Uh, negative 2 so negative uh, minus negative 1 half it will become plus 1 half then square plus 1 minus 3 fourth that is uh, 1 minus 3 fourth then square so simplifying this one further it will become uh, negative 2 plus 1 half so since we have here whole number and fraction which is one half so automatically our we will get the lcd or the least common denominator so our negative two or all whole numbers is equivalent to or always contain one as their denominator so get the least common denominator between negative two over one and one half so it will be two the least common denominator so we have to divide two in the denominator here so two divided by two one that is 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Again, 2 divided by 1, that is 2. Then, 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Plus, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Then, times 1, that is 1. Then, square. Plus, 1 minus 3 fourth. So, we have to get the LCD again. 1 is automatically over 1. So we have to get the LCD between 1 and negative 3, four, uh, 3 fourth. Sorry. Uh, we have 4. So 4 divided by 1, that is 4 times 1, that is 4. Minus 
4 divided by 4, that is 1, times 3, that is 3. Then, square. Okay, let's simplify further. We have negative 4 plus 1, that is negative 3. Then, with the denominator of 2. Square plus 4 minus 3, that is 1 over 4. Then, square. Okay, so we have here d is equals to the square root of negative 3 halves squared or that is negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves that will become 9 over 4 plus so that is negative 3 times negative 3 that is 9 or positive 9 then 2 times 2 that is 4 okay that is the meaning of negative 3 halves squared plus 1 squared that is 1 then 4 squared, that is 16. Okay? So, let us simplify the two terms. So, 9 over 4 plus 1 over 16. Since they don't have the same denominator, we then we can, or they have unlike denominators, then we are going to get the LCD again. So, their LCD or least common denominator is 16. So, 16. 16 divided by 4, that is 4 times 9, that is 36. Uh, let me check if I get it correctly. So that is 16 divided by 4, that is 4. Then 9 times 4, 9, 18, 27, 36. Yes, this is 36. Plus, I mean the here. Sorry for this. Okay, sorry. Then we have 16 divided by 16, that is 1 times 1, that is 1. Okay, so we have d is equals to the square root of 36 plus 1, that is 37. Then copy the denominator, which is 16. So as the resulting distance, that is the square root of d is equals to the square root of 37 over 16. So we can reduce this one to lowest term, or we can rewrite this one into another form. So what we are going to do is to get the multiples of 37 over 16 in which we can get a perfect square number so we can have we can break this one into 37 or 1 over 16 times 37 so that is still equals to 37 over 16 so 1 over 16 times 37 is still the same with 37 over 16 so our purpose here is that to get the simplest form of the answer for distance so we have 1 over i mean square root of 1 over 16 is equals to 1 over 4 okay that is square root of 1 that is 1 square root of 16 that is 4 then square root of 37 since this can no longer be uh this is not a perfect square number then we can write that one as square root of 37 so our distance is equals to 1 fourth times square root of 37 or we can have this one if you don't know how to reduce that one to lowest term. But it is more uh, acceptable if we rewrite that one into this form. So the distance between the points, uh, we have negative 1 half 3 fourth, negative 2 1 is 1 fourth squared of 37. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next we have for number 4, this is all fraction numbers. So it is quite confusing since we are dealing with negative signs. And also with fractional numbers so what we are going to do here is that uh, simplify the given terms into or just rewrite the distance formula which is which takes the form of uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared so we have here d is equals to uh, identify First, which is our x sub 1, or which value is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So, our x sub 2 here is negative 2 third. Again, be careful with this one, because we are dealing with negative signs, and also with fractional numbers. So, we have our x sub 1 is negative, I mean, x sub 2 is negative 2 third. And minus, our x sub 1 is negative 1 third. Okay, so then square then plus just follow the pattern of the formula y sub 2 is negative 3 halves so let us use bracket to avoid confusion negative 3 halves 
minus our y sub 1 is negative 1 half. Then, square. Okay? <clears throat> Next, we have here, d is equals to, let us simplify the expression or the terms inside the bracket. So, we have negative 2 third minus negative 1 third. That will become, uh, we have negative 2 third plus 1 third. So, that is negative times negative. That is positive. Then, copy 1 third. Then, square. Plus, for the second term, for the values of our y sub 1, y sub 2, negative 3 halves. Neg minus negative 1 half. That is plus 1 half. Then, square. Okay? So, we have here d is equals to the square root of negative 2 third plus 1 third. Since they have the same denominator, there is no need to get the LCD. Just copy the denominator and directly add the numerator. So, you will get negative 2 plus 1. That is negative 2 plus 1 over 3. Since they have the same denominator. Then, plus negative 3 halves and 1 half. They have the same denominator again. Again, do not forget the square here. Okay? Sorry for that. So, we have negative 3 halves plus 1 half, that is negative 3, then copy the denominator. Negative 3 plus 1, then copy the denominator, which is 2. Then, square. Okay, so we have here, d is equals to the square root of negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1, then copy the denominator, which is 3. Then, square. Plus, negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2, over, negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2, then over, Two square. So we can simplify this one further since negative 2 over ne 2 is negative 1. So we can have negative 1 third square plus we have negative 2 divided by 2 that is negative 1 then square. Okay. So let us get the squared square of each number. So negative 1 third square that is positive 1 over 9. That is negative 1 times negative 1 that is 1. 3 times 3, that is 9. Plus, negative 1 square or negative 1 times negative 1, that is 1. So, d is equals to square root of. Since they don't have the same denominator, 1, 9 plus 1, our 1 here is automatically over 1. So, they don't have the same denominator or they have unlike denominators, then just get the LCD. So, the least common denominator is 9 for the two numbers, which is 1, 9 and 1. So, 9 divided 9 divided by 9, that is 1, times 1, that is 1, plus 9 divided by 1, that is 9, times 1, that is 9. So, d is equals to the square root of 1 plus 9, that is 10, then copy the denominator, which is 9. Now, what we are going to do, since this is not a perfect square number or fraction, then get the multiple. So, you can express that one as 1 over 9 times 10. So get the il uh, I mean get the square root of 1 over 9 that is 1 over 3 square root of 10. Since 10 is not a perfect square number but 1 over 9 is a perfect square fraction so we can get 1 third as the square root of 1 9. So again square root of 1 9 is 1 third and we have square root of 10 this is not a perfect square number then just write square root of 10. So this is now our distance we can have this one if you don't know how to express that one into lowest term or we can have this one okay so that the distance is either square root of 10 over 9 or we have one third square root of 10 for the points for the given points defined by negative one third negative one half negative two third negative three halves so that's all for this video i hope you learned something out from the explanation i provided and don't forget to subscribe for more updates for the incoming videos that I will make. So that's all and God bless everyone.